Oh, I'm Dickie Els in South Africa. As you can see, it's not in uh, Mexico, but it's in the south of Africa. I want to talk to you about wellness in South Africa quickly. And as you know, that uh, we do not have lions walking the streets of Johannesburg. So what's wellness? We understand wellness as on a continuum of illness, health and wellness to be more than just being healthy. Um, if you want to have a formal definition for it, nobody will disagree with me to say uh, it's to improve the development of optimal human functioning. I have my own formula for wellness and that would be to multiply the duration of negative behavior with the frequency of negative behavior, subtract that from the duration and frequency of positive behavior multiplied by lifestyle or life satisfaction. So for example would be if I spend a lot of money I have a lot of debt which is a negative behavior. Not saving any money it will lead to financial unwellness in this particular formula. Thinking ahead maybe about uh, the concerns that I have in in relation to wellness in South Africa, we have a uh, helicopter perspective and having an upstream view of, of wellness. Uh, there are some concerns that one needs to, to consider, one of which is that, that the, we have developing communities in a developed uh, communities as well. Uh, an example would be to have affluent as well as poor people living in South Africa with vastly different needs. We have high levels of unemployment, up to 60% according to the ninth South African Employment Report of USASA, it's a workers union. They stated, they clearly stated that uh, only 12.8 uh, million people is working in South Africa, whilst 13.8 million people is living from welfare. So there's more people living from welfare opposed to working. According to a Gallup study, 71% said that they have the perception that they're actually struggling uh, trying to make a living. Only 15% of people in South Africa do have uh, good primary health care uh, because of the income. As well as another concern would be our own aspirations to have a health reform plan which we call the national health insurance would only be available according to the latest budget speech in 2013, providing access to good health care for all people. We do have a very high crime rate placing a burden on to uh, wellness and you can think about trauma and all of those things that is associated with crime. And then in, in organizations we experience high levels of uh, initiatives that actually just feel good um, initiatives, not really driving outcomes and evidence in the programs. We have uh, health risks uh, that's not well managed. Uh, if you think about the health risk, health cost ratio, uh, some priorities is not clearly addressed if you think about HIV and tuberculosis opposed to just having body massages and so forth. Strumpfer uh, was the first person actually in the field of positive psychology in South Africa that talked about salutogenesis as a new paradigm of health and origin of health. In 1995 he reviewed his own thinking by adding some other uh, positive psychology constructs and uh, he called that fortology. In 1997 psychophortology was born or spoken about by Professor Wissing and Van Eden. Um, in 2000, we had our first South African National Wellness Conference, facilitated in the Port Elizabeth. In the same conference, Mari Wissing had a paper delivered by means of, of using the word wellness then, 
as a construct clarification and framework for future research and practices uh, that she broadly outlined this construct of wellness. In 2002-2004 we had South African Work Wellness Conferences facilitated by the Northwest University which also holds a work wellness research unit. Same university facilitated the Positive Psychology Conference in 2006. The yeah, University of Free State and in 2007 a wellness conference and in 2009 they had the specific conference for work wellness. Uh, as well as several other organizations that's a bit smaller also hold some wellness conference on an annual basis. It's uh, actually not a, a national wellness but just a local wellness conferences. But also thinking about the road ahead is <coughs> some things that we need to do or we attend to in my opinion. We need to have a more, lot more innovators and early adapters coming to the field, taking leadership and developing the industry. Uh, we have industry-wide uh, or the need for an industry-wide cohesive theoretical framework and a common language to actually uh, move forward, agreeing on several multidisciplinary fields that can that contribute to the wellness industry. We, focus, we need to focus on the long-term consecutive studies of wellness. We need to develop better behavior-based approaches, wellness trends and positives behavior as well as illness, weaknesses and negative behavior should be studied as a dual process uh, when thinking about wellness, incorporating both sides of the continuum of illness, health and wellness. We should research variables that facilitate or impede wellness behavior. I'm thinking about interventions and inter incentives that should be well researched instead of just having research based on measures of wellness. Greater sensitivity needs to be placed on the prescription versus description practices because one size do not fit all when applying wellness um, behavior change methodologies. We need to have interdependencies and discussion between different fields that contribute to the wellness industry and we need a tertiary uh, postgraduate wellness program. In fact, I think we're in a desperate need of a postgraduate program that teaches uh, students about wellness as a holistic principle. I could also maybe just give you a brief overview of what's happening in organizations for wellness. Um, you know, the Work Well survey indicated that only 27% of organizations fully implemented the wellness um, program. 42 said that they partially implemented a, a wellness strategy, uh, which is not much. In my opinion, traditional and activity oriented programs dominates with 60% creating awareness and education opposed to population health management and behavior change programs. Only 15% attend to those uh, type of programs where they actually could prove a return on investment and the, and the actual health improvement program being developed. Something that we could celebrate maybe in South Africa is uh, the launch of the Be Well program which is a national wellness uh, orient initiative that should facilitate small and medium enterprise as well as individual particip participants to partake in a, in a bigger wellness program. Uh, by means of this we will create greater awareness and education as well as market uh, and create sales for in the wellness industry of people being in a social network and involved in, in, a, in a type of a wellness initiative. Uh, thank you for a brief overview and a flyby. Uh, out of South Africa, I wish you well 
on the conference and I hope it's a truly enriching experience for all of you. Thank you.